Здрасте. In this video, I will be replacing the front right engine mount on a 2011 Honda Pilot. The old engine mount has failed and is causing noticeable vibrations inside the car. First of all, here are the tools you're gonna need. Flathead screwdriver, torque wrench, ratchet and extensions for it. Also, I will need a 17, 14 and a 10 mm sockets as well as an adapter for my ratchet from 3 8 to half an inch and wobbly adapter for my sockets. New engine mount you're gonna be installing. And also I use this battery powered drill with half inch adapter for sockets. You also are going to need a car jack with a wooden block to support the engine from the bottom. And here are all the bolts and nuts torque specifications for all the motor and transmission mounts on this second generation Honda Pilot. First, I'm gonna remove the engine cover by undoing these two plastic screws with a flathead screwdriver and the engine cover comes off. As the next step, we gotta remove the ECU and its mounting bracket as it is in the way of the engine mount we're gonna be replacing. Here, I'm pointing at the engine mount bracket. Lightly pull on those plastic tabs to release this plastic cover. The side tab just has to be wiggled out and then pulled. And this gives us access to the ECU itself. Push on the connector release tabs like so. Disconnect them and move them out of the way. Release this wire connection from its mounting bracket by pulling up on the tab and wiggling it away. Next, we need to remove four bolts holding the ECU bracket. The first one is over here, second one is down there, third one is to the side and fourth one down here. Now there are a couple more harness holders to disconnect. This one is accessible from the top and the one on the bottom is highlighted in the video and you kind of have to reach and disconnect it. Now the ECU bracket is almost free and once the last harness holder is disconnected it can be removed out of the engine compartment and put to the side. At this point we have easy access to the engine mount itself and we will start by removing the one bolt that is holding the engine harness bracket. And not to forget where this bolt goes, I'll screw it back into the same place on the new mount. Here's the view of the mount without the bracket and there are several bolts that we will be undoing. But first, we need to support the engine with a jack and a wooden block. I am positioning the block under the engine oil pan and transmission casing so that the weight of the engine is spread more evenly. There is one more small bolt and bracket to remove from the engine side mounting. Once again I'm putting the bolt back where it came from not to lose it. Now I will need to loosen the long bolt that goes through the actual mount and then the two bolts holding the engine side mounting. I will need a 17mm socket for the long side bolt and 15mm for the shorter two bolts. Now let's loosen up these top bolts.
All three are now loose, so we can completely unscrew the side bolt and take it out. There is also a side stopper that is held by the long bolt, so I'll make sure to reinstall it in its place when I'm putting everything back together. The long bolt is out and we can proceed with the two top bolts holding the engine side mounting. Since the bolts were loose and easily accessible, I hooked up a half inch drill adapter and extension to my drill to make a quick work out of taking those two bolts. Now these bolts are removed and the engine side mounting can be taken out as well. There are three bolts left that are securing the actual mount, so I'm going to loosen all of them first and then take them out all the way. Once again, I'll speed up the process by using the coilless drill with extensions. I'll make note of one short bolt and two longer ones as I remove them. Now the engine mount is completely free and can be taken out. As you can see, the rubber in the old mount has a crack going through it, which was causing abnormal engine movement and vibrations that were noticeable inside the car. I would recommend getting the new OEM mount, as it will ensure perfect fitment and it was very reasonably priced at the online Honda parts store. Now let's install this new engine mount back where it belongs. I will start by threading in the three bolts that hold the actual mount to the car chassis. The two longer bolts go on the bottom and the shorter one is on top. Next I will test fit the engine side mounting and it falls right into its place perfectly. The repair manual calls for 40 foot pounds of torque on those engine mount bolts. Once all the bolts are tightened to proper torque, I'm putting the engine side mounting back on and thread the long bolt that goes through the engine mount. The side stopper gets placed in a proper position as I'm tightening the bolt by hand. I've applied some aluminum anti-seize to the bolts to help them go in easily. The two shorter top bolts are installed by hand first. After that, I'm driving them in with the drill. The longer bolt is tightened to 40 foot pounds. And the top two mounts are tightened to 33 foot pounds with a torque wrench. Now that all the bolts are tightened, we can lower the jack supporting the engine and move it out of the way. Now I'm gonna reinstall the side bracket with the ground wire. Little 
After that goes the engine harness bracket. Once that's on, we can place the ECU bracket back into its place. All the wire harnesses are positioned back into their original places and harness holders are clipped back in. This one connector can be reconnected at this time. And all the ECU bracket bolts can be threaded in. Now I can plug all the connectors back in and reattach the remaining harness holders. One more thing to do is to check if everything is plugged in. There are no screws left in the magnetic tray and everything is installed where it should. And now we can put the plastic cover for the ECU back on. Finally it is time to start the car and check that everything is running as it should and hopefully the rough vibrations at idle are gone. And everything is working as it should. Our project is almost complete. I decided to jump in and test the engine by giving it some gas and running the transmission through its gears. One last thing is to put the engine cover back on, secure it with its screws, close the hood and go for a drive. And we are done! Thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful, please like, share and consider subscribing. Till next one! До свидания.